Alrighty, and now we're going to continue our discussion about file sharing on Windows Server 2016. In this video, we are going to talk about hidden shares. So we've gone ahead, we've created shares via simple sharing, advanced sharing, and file and storage sharing services. However, sometimes we want to create a share that is not visible to everybody. So for instance, here we can look at our Windows Server that we've created connected to uh, the Windows file share is simply backslash backslash and then the server name and we can see we have our six shares that we've created here great well is that all the shares that actually exist on this server well let's go ahead and look under server manager under tools there is a tool called computer management computer management has lots of tool lots of features lots of capabilities one of the things it does is it allows us to see hidden shares. So for instance, if I look under computer management, system tools, shared folders, shares, I can see, well, I have my game share, my share one, two, three, four, five. So those are the six shares that we just saw when browsing to the server. However, there are a couple of shares that we didn't see when we browse to the server. And when you look at them, you can probably notice the fact that they have a dollar sign at the end of their names. And that dollar sign is specifically what's causing them to be hidden. If I create a share, and if in that share I put a dollar sign at the end of the name, that share will be hidden. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go back to server manager, shares. Let's go ahead and create a share. Go ahead and call this one share six, but not just share six. I'm going to call it share six dollar sign. Let's go ahead and next, next and create. And this time it is showing up in our shares under file server. Uh, however, if I look at my network share and I refresh my page, share number six does not show up in my list. So it is in fact hidden from the casual browser. Now this is not a security aspect. Uh, there should definitely be security policies and, and access permissions assigned to that share to restrict people from accessing it. But it does somewhat hide the share from people from casually seeing it and attempting to access it. In order to access it, what I do is simply backslash backslash server name and then backslash share six dollar type in the name and there's the share uh, the folder is currently empty let's go ahead and on the local computer let's create something in there new text document hello world and then we look in our share and we can see that our hello world document exists so we're able to create these shares that are hidden from the casual purview of end users. If I want to take a share I currently have, such as share five here, and I want to change that to be hidden, ultimately what I have to do is have to delete the existing share and then recreate it. Uh, we should be able to do that without changing, uh, sorry, we should be able to do that without having to delete the files that are in that share just simply delete the share itself and then re-add it with the same source folder.